uh, good evening everyone and uh, uh, good evening individually to everyone so i'll give a brief introduction of uh, uh, who my uh, very beloved friend is and uh, he is uh, uh, mr shivachan and the shivachan irs uh, 2016 uh, batch uh, all india rank all india rank 2000 uh, 282 and uh, he has been my friend from a very long time uh, the conversation started just like that uh, at ananagar and uh, the friendship has grown since then and since then we have spoke about not only upsc a lot of other things uh, concerned to many other in <laughs> life and this has been so he has been a kind of my mentor the truth is that uh he has been my mentor in terms of how to handle because uh, many of the questions will uh, come one by one many of the times uh, when I, i was scared in preparation or uh, i did not have any clue uh, i used to come to him for uh, mentorship so so that is now the logical conclusion should be so he can be a very good mentor i can vouch for that so today see today i will give you a, so this this, uh, this is just a prelude Uh, to uh, the loadster uh, program that uh, we have been uh, talking about uh, and uh, uh, this is the brief introduction that i wanted to give personally about my friend uh, mr shivachan and uh, one by one so i uh, yesterday we had this brief uh, uh, that is uh, we had given this uh, form to fill as to the questions that can be asked so i'm going to ask from that only Uh, shrivatsan the point is that there have been uh, 80 uh, 80 questions so whether we can address 80 questions <laughs> i am not sure but uh, okay so so what we will do that what we will do is uh, we will take up some questions now obviously the 80 questions will fall under some pattern like some people might ask about how to approach the exam so that can be one broad am i am i audible properly yes 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 please go on. yeah okay uh, so this is a problem with online classes you need to be absolutely sure whether you are audible or not otherwise you will be like uh, you know danush simply speaking to himself yara virking landra types so anyways uh, <clears throat> so the point is uh, anyways all these questions are going to somewhere feature into some sort of broad category so what we will do now is we'll take up a subset of them uh, try navigating through them slowly because i think we have a lot of time we can go a bit slow on that and then during the course of the program which is the load star program which we have uh, tried you know coming up with we can address those questions individually so this is just a basic prelude as to what people can expect and uh, just on the introduction that uh, shiva had given about me uh, i just want to add one thing uh, so the mentoring that he was talking of in terms of mutual mentoring Uh, i would put it this way shiva was my prelims mentor and i was his mains mentor <laughs> that's the best way of putting it because and especially sc 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 yeah yeah so 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 we our conversations were really i mean like really amazing and and the way i even came into touch with him was 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 just a sleight of hand literally like uh, my in one of the academy tests my pen had run out of ink and i had just turned back and she was sitting there i didn't even know who it was and i was like uh, ji can you just give me a pen i need to complete this sentence and all of that so he just gave that pen post which we started talking and then we are here today i think i think it, it would have been 8 years right it was in 2014 right. 80 8 years yes 8 years yeah. uh, the, the the thing is that that is what the ma- many of the major i i am going through all the questions uh-huh. actually uh, the point is that many of the questions pertain to that in terms of how to handle uh, sure. for example family pressure sure, sure. Questions, so but uh, Uh, i do not know uh, if we uh, can cover everything but we'll start is it okay yeah yeah, yeah. perfectly we can start uh, off we can we can and you guys can uh, give the chat or in the chat you can uh, give your uh, questions also i'll put that question as well uh, yes ashish ashish is like uh, this is true <laughs> actually i used to carry not two i used to carry two pens and extra two pens so yeah I, yeah one more for that so, also uh, so to ask to answer ashish's question that was my first attempt actually so i was absolutely new to all of this competitive exams and also i used to carry just one pen so in fact that was a very very important lesson that i learned 
always carry a lot of pens and always keep stock of materials which are required for the exam. That's a great lesson that I learned in the hard way. So I'll, uh, Sri Ratan, I'll start with this yeah, first please. question, sir. Please go ahead. So, um, there are many doubts as to what kind of pen somebody should be using uh, okay. for civil services mains, especially. Yeah. So if you can just clarify on that, uh, uh, it will be a very good thing. So, so the so the civil service mains examination. Uh, let's 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 envision a situation how you are going to write the civil service mains examination. Now, the mains examination is going to happen through a span of one week. Okay, you might have holidays in between or not. Every day you'll have to write two exams. That has been the standard pattern so far. Now, what I used to do for my attempt, and it has really worked, is you try different types of pens during your mock tests. Now look, the mock tests are basically like net practice for your main, uh, you know, IPL match or something like that. During the net practice, you should try as many possible combinations as possible. Now what I used to do was, I first used to write in ballpoint pen. And these are real life instances. The question is really great because these are real life instances. Now, while writing in the ballpoint pen, I used to have a very strong grip so that when I write, there used to be this mark on the next pages and literally the pages uh, were, the handwriting also was not that great. So I gave a ballpoint pen. Then I tried once with ink pen, which is the usual uh, pen that we used to have, right? Now, ink pen, a big problem is your handwriting will not be very fast because the sense of friction between the paper and the pen and all of that, those are all important attributes. So I was not able to complete any of the papers with ink pen. So I threw it off. Finally, I came up with one pen, which is the classical pilot pen, they say. Uh, it's, a, it's a classical pen. I don't know if it's still available. No, I, I, I also use that. Ah, that pilot pen, the only advantage is uh, it has a good grip and suiting to my handwriting because my handwriting was slightly on the higher end. The, the words used to be of a bigger size. Some people's words will be of a smaller size. So they can choose a pen which is suiting them. So the whole point of this discussion is you can use any pen. There is absolutely no bar on this pen or that pen. Certainly you should not use red ink and green ink. These are reserved for the bureaucrats, which you can use after clearing the exam and not during the exam. So you can use blue and black. Certainly there's no bar on that. So, but so there's so, so there is a prohibition on this green and yeah. I, I mean, I mean there, there's no explicit prohibition, but the general convention is uh, green and red are used in the bureaucracy. So once you get into service, you have all liberty to use uh, uh, like oh. Vivek. So, says, actually, says, so first, first itself, uh, it's a, uh, it's a question that many see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it it's, seems it's like a very simple question. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. This, this is one point which all of you aspirants very clearly must understand, and that's the reason why we wanted to start the Lodestar program itself. Because look, the civil service examination is ultimately a human examination. Let's be very clear about it. It is a paper set by human beings. It is a paper written by human beings. It is a paper corrected by human beings, as of now, at least in the artificial intelligence era, we are not yet moved into it, but as of now, at least that is the reason why important issues like which pen to use, should my handwriting be good or not? The next logical question to that will be that because ultimately what is there in your mains paper that alone is going to be evaluated. You might have done a PhD in political science. You might know Aristotle and Plato and this and that just does not matter. I'm, I'm being very honest and brutal here. What you do in that three hours and what is getting translated in that three hours, that's most important. That will ultimately determine your marks. So all of these questions, in fact, please be as basic well, as I'll, possible. I'll, I'll, I'll ask one more human question. Yeah, yeah, please. If they have asked, or see, all this I'm taking from uh, these uh, questions has come and we are giving the questions. So how, this is a human question as well. How many hours did you study? So that is the question. So okay. how many hours? Yeah. So, so my preparation was, was in, I would say two stages. Let's put it that way. Initially, uh, I was working in PCS. Uh, this was in the year 2012, if I'm not wrong. Now, uh, I, I was working in a project which had a lot of deadlines. Okay. Ultimately, I was getting paid around 30,000 then. 
so my project manager used, usually was was there behind my neck every other time did you finish did you finish but then at the same time i used to carry uh, you know lakshmikanth book the the quintessential polity lakshmikanth book every day in my bus two hours journey and two hours back i was not able to study anything at all that was the day when i decided that look for me as a person i find it difficult to manage both work as well as uh, you know upsc preparation so i decided to quit so this is my personal experience does that mean that everybody should quit no i have seen a lot of people who can absolutely do both together so we'll anyways come to that in a separate and, session and as as to the number of hours yeah yeah uh, to the number of hours now the number of hours is connected with the subject that i'm studying i'll give you two examples my favorite subject in the entire upsc preparation was international movement okay i used to love that subject like anything so the number of hours that i used to study if i was studying international movement would easily go into 5 to 6 hours easy because i used to be so absorbed in that textbook that simply time flew away but when it comes to geography time used to like go like one second at a time so i used to hate geography like any so therefore the number of hours as a preparation which is essential which is a bare minimum is usually we spend 1 to 1 and a half hours for newspaper or current affairs let's put it that way so that's like 1 and a half hours 1 hour of writing practice and test practice so that's like another 3 hours then minimum you need to study somewhere close to say 3 to 4 hours so on an average if you look at a very very basic human being i'm not talking of super humans who give their interviews after clearing they say that i studied for 25 hours in a day and all i am not one person you can study around 8 hours just like usual work that you do chunk it down in an entire day if you are studying full time that is you can study up to 7 to 8 hours which is doable which is not a big strain at all initially you will start off with 1 or 2 hours that's all don't be disheartened by that don't be like oh you he told that you should study 8 hours i am not able to do that's not the point the point is how much depth you are going into the subject how much grip are you having into the subject so there's no hard and fast number uh, i would say somewhere the number lies between say 6 to 7 hours if you're doing full time otherwise if you're working hardly you can study 2 hours a day that's my take if you're working in some oh, it must, company and all so, so full time so full time if we are studying it is around 6 to 7 hours yeah it comes right. to that i i am yeah, including i am include i am including newspaper reading i am including writing practice which you are supposed to integrate which we will anyways come to in a different question i am including some sort of test series and one one hour that you do then if you are going for some coaching institute or something i am including that also then some 2 to 3 hours that you can that's so, it so as as per uh, as per your uh, suggestion this is a human factor this that is an absolutely human exam and believe you me i have struggled a lot with discipline this ultimately comes to the question of discipline and it's not going to happen in one day some day i might study just for one hour it's not happening but some day i might actually study really very well the whole point is every day you should touch the textbook that's the whole point it's like i should go to the coaching institute like the net practice cricket net practice every day i should keep touching the ball one day i might play really very well in the net perfectly fine but some day i might play really very bad that's also okay but the point is go to the net practice every single day that you cannot that is non compromise you cannot compromise on that every day you should touch the text so, every day you should study newspaper that's that minimum that is one one more uh, add on question yeah. to that uh, the every day we have to study so objectively 6 to 7 hours <laughs> Study. and that is how that is how everyone does yes. even people who have cleared this examination that is how they have done it but the point is that as you have mentioned every day we have to study but every day motivation is yes. a very difficult yes. task yes. so the one of the question the student has asked is yes. that 
how do you keep up that motivation so if, if we are not able to study for maybe let us assume one or two days so we have some function we have some uh, family work okay. we will not be able to put in the same amount of time that does not does it affect our chances that is the question okay. that is does it affect our chances to become an officer okay. so